Let's balance the net ionic equation for Mg plus ZnCl2. This is magnesium and this is zinc chloride. So the first thing we need to do when we're writing these net ionic equations, we need to balance the molecular equation. In this case, it's already balanced, so that's all good. Next, we need to write the state for each substance. That looks like this. So both magnesium and zinc, those are just solid metals. And then we have zinc chloride. Chlorides are very soluble. So both of these are going to be aqueous. They'll dissolve, dissociate into their ions. This is a single displacement reaction because the magnesium, that's going to push the zinc out. Then the magnesium will be with the chlorine here, magnesium chloride. So now we can split the strong electrolytes into their ions for the complete ionic equation. That looks like this. So this is the complete ionic equation. Now we're going to cross out the spectator ions. They're on both sides of that complete ionic equation. On the top, the reactants here, I see I have two chloride ions. In the products, I also have two chloride ions. We consider these spectator ions. We can cross those out, but that's it. That's all we can cross out. What's left, that's the net ionic equation for Mg plus ZnCl2. I'll clean it up, write the states. We'll have our net ionic equation. So this is the balanced net ionic equation for magnesium plus zinc chloride. You note that the charge, it's the same on both sides. Over here in the reactants, we have this 2 plus. In the products, 2 plus. Charge is conserved, and if you count the atoms up, they'll be the same as well. This is Dr. B with the balanced net ionic equation for Mg plus ZnCl2, magnesium plus zinc chloride. Thanks for watching.